using the XY visualization thing because I've been hit by a lot of ball tops. So I'm just going to see now. Let's see. Pick this thing up. Alright. No, I missed that. No, here we go. Looks like we got a crusty zinc penny. As I don't know, in an area I thought was really pretty much uh, pretty much cleaned out of targets, high conductivity targets. I'm running a new program on my uh, DAS. It's not mine. I'm not taking credit for it, but there's a lot of programs out there for your DAS. And a lot of people out there using it. Anyway, it's a crusty zinc. I'll describe the uh, I'll describe the uh, program I'm using, and I'll also just uh, tell you who uh, created it, etc. Uh, later. Well, I'm still out with this uh, new program from my XP Deus. This wasn't actually the machine I planned to use, but I decided to run it. And um, look, a nickel. So I am getting some return more than I expected today in this park. So hmm, it's amazing. Well, still getting signals. This is a high reading. It appears to be in the can category, but it's very small, so it shouldn't be a can. Nothing. Whoa. There we go. Quarter. Boy, I like this. I like this new program I'm running. It's not a new one for me, but it's been on my machine. I programmed in quite a while, but don't go on. It's eating this, it's eating this, uh, this pounded park up. Now, the last few times, this has been a well, let's see what it is this time. It's not a zinc. It's a. It's the front of a toy car. Like the grill? No, no. Grill of a toy? No. I don't know what that is. But it's. It's interesting. Alright, I'm out with the uh, Tehan, first time in a while, and I got a very high conductivity target here, so it could be a quarter, or 
or it could be something else. Could be a could be a rusty buckle. <laughs> well, that's a weird one. Okay. Well, another target. This one came in about zinc or a pull tab, and it's a uh, key. Another uh, another entry in my collection of keys. Now, here's a surface find with the detector's assistance. Not sure on this one. This could be a zinc penny. Well, no zinc penny, but a big piece of steel of some kind. This is Texas Tiger Digs again. And I was hoping to go out uh, this evening and get in another uh, hunt. I did get in a very small hunt, but it began to rain a little bit outside. So I called it today. So with the exception of this penny, this was all in... These two pieces of junk and the key. <laughs> this was the morning hunt. Uh, did you see the the uh, the evening hunt had a little bit more variety, uh, though uh, not exactly profitable. Uh, any profit's not the important thing. In any case, uh, what I got here is uh, I went out to the uh, to the the park, the the one I call the Pounded Park, the one I really had stopped planning to hit and stop planning to make videos on. In fact, I pretty much stopped, but this time I went out and I hit enough coins. I have a I have a lower limit of coins and interesting targets before I make a video. Now, it does not mean I'm going to compile uh, two, two or three coins from one hunt, compiled into another hunt and say, wow, what a great day I had, because I still separate my hunts by days. But I don't punish you with, like I did earlier, with a two zinc hunt. I'll take the two zinc, I'll put it over to the side, and then said I made that two zinc this day, and then I got the rest of this the other day. So I don't, I don't, I don't compile hunts and give you a, a, uh, an exalted idea of what I get on a daily basis. So when I went out with this, and I, you know, I got four coins, and that's the lower limit of what I would do to generate a, uh, to generate a video. That's my own arbitrary uh, standard. Uh, so. Uh, but I went out and I hit this, you know, I'm, I'm pretty much satisfied. And I keep saying this over and over again because my mind keeps going back to this. And every time I do, I prove it's incorrect. But I was assuming this, this area was pretty much, if not detected out, at least I'd gotten rid of most of the high conductivity targets. I, I probably have, but I, I, you know, I still get targets because, like I said, one person cannot, can, can really not detect out an area of four or five acres. It's just, it's just not possible. And you know, he's going to miss areas. His mind's going to say this is not the way to go. And there's going to be coins over there. And the next time he's going to go over there, he's going to hit it again, or somebody's going to come behind him and hit it. But this time I went out and I run something called a tot lock program. I'm going to go into YouTube and find a video that gave me the, the configuration for that. Uh, I know it was uh, the guy from uh, uh, Ed from Treasure Mountain Detectors would, had a video that incorporated this in, and I think it came from uh, MDO TV, and he attributed to the, to that uh, to uh, to the uh, to the man from MDO TV. Haven't heard from him in a while. I hope he's doing okay. In any case. Uh, this is what I got. I got a quarter. I got a nickel, which I love getting nickels, and they're relatively rare. I got a copper penny. I got a zinc penny. So it was a pretty good run. 
Now, when I went out later, I went out with the Tehan, and the Tehan is doing some weird things. Now, I've got to, I've got to work on that and look at it because it might be making a return trip to Tesoro for some, uh, for some uh, configuration and uh, uh, maintenance issues. In any case, um, I went out, and this is basically what I got. Uh, this is a high conductivity target, a key, another one in my key collection. Then I got two rusty, a uh, rusty uh, piece of iron and a rusty buckle. Looks like it's iron too. And uh, those were also coming in very high conductivity targets. I don't think that I would have gotten that high reading from my desk or from some of my other machines. So I'm really, I'm not too happy with the fact that those came in and I, I dug them up. But, you know, they're rusty and, and, and a rust halo uh, could have affected any detector. Uh, you know, but uh, so... Uh, so I'm not saying that it had anything to do with the detector. I just hit them at the right time in the right weather condition and the rust halo was there for whatever. So uh, I got those two. And then this was a surface find and that was, uh, that was assisted by the detector. I wouldn't have found it otherwise. I just looked down at it once it went off. Just a scratched up uh, zinc penny. So that's what I got today. Uh, not a very impressive day, but you know, it's a day. You know, more more time to try out, to, to limber up, to get my uh, systems, and to get a little exercise. Because you know, it was a very nice day in, in the, in the, in the uh, middle of the day, at lunchtime. And it, and it was a nice, rainy, cool day in the evening. So I really got nothing to complain about there either. So, this is Texas Tiger Digs. This is all I've got for you today. And, by the way, I'm going to put the link to the YouTube video that I've described in the link below. In the uh, area below the comment area so if you want to see the the setup I did the quote unquote top lot setup and this was not a top lot I was in I was just doing it across a standard park and I was getting a lot of hits that I didn't really expect now take that with a grain of salt because you really can't compare one detector to another because you can't guarantee you're going over the same area the same way and if you are going over the same area the same way have you already taken all the targets out with the previous detector you never know In any case texas tiger digs i will catch you next time at the next hunt i don't know maybe tomorrow uh maybe this weekend it's gonna be a little rainy i hear so i don't know how much of an opportunity i'm gonna have over the next few days but i'm going to give it my best i will see you next time happy hunting and good luck